Greetings and blessings, beloved. I am Brian, and I love you. Welcome to today's devotional titled, Lessons Learned from God's Provision. Today's scripture is Jonah, 4th chapter, 7th verse, NIV translation. Feel free to pause the video to review today's devotional content. Today's shared experience is a continuation from the previous Lenten season devotional entries. And now for today's shared experience. I had sensed in my spirit that my time at my current job was coming to a close, prompting me to ponder what the next phase of my journey would entail. A transfer opportunity that was closer to home had arose. That would definitely offer me some relief for my commute. However, this time around, I made it a significant point to see God's direction before pursuing it. Meanwhile, I explored positions at other hospitals, keeping my options open. One opportunity in particular stood out, a chance for me to utilize my skills in a new setting and in a new capacity. After much prayer and much fasting, I applied for the position, and I completed an interview. Around the same time, my transfer request had been approved, which began to stir mixed emotions among my colleagues. Accepting the transfer bought tension, with some feelings that I had betrayed them in some way. Despite the conflict, I left for the new location, only to encounter similar dynamics and concerns with my longevity in that position. Just when I thought that things could become more complicated, the hospital that I had applied to unexpectedly called my office at this new position and extended to me a job offer. This began to stir and create gossip and speculation. After seeking spiritual counsel and praying earnestly, I decided to accept the offer. And yet I was faced and had to encounter additional tensions and drama. Amidst the turmoil, I clung to the lesson of obedience and trust in God, believing that God had a plan and would guide me through this storm. Despite the challenges, I remained hopeful that God would provide clarity and direction as I navigated this new chapter of my journey. The lyrics from the song, All Things, by Kirk Franklin come to mind. Specifically, the lyrics that state, Talking about mountains, talking about pain, talking about my life, when will it change? Talking about all things, God can do all things. Talking about nights I lose my way and my dreams that have been erased. Talking about all things. I said God can do all things. And later in this song, Kirk Franklin states, just because he's silent doesn't mean that he's still. He's not only preparing it for you, he's preparing you for it. Today's scripture taken from Jonah 4th chapter 7th verse NIV translation reads, But at dawn, the next day, God provided a worm which chewed the plant so that it withered. In today's scripture, we witness God's provision of a plant for shade, followed by its withering due to a worm. This experience showcases God's sovereignty over all details and illustrates that while God's provision may be temporary, it serves specific purposes in our lives. Just as Jonah found relief in the plant, we too may receive temporary comforts from God. However, circumstances can and may abruptly change, challenging us to choose between bitterness and trusting in God's wisdom and sovereignty. Three themes emerge from today's scripture. One, provision and transience. It is easy for us to become attached to transient blessings, which distract us from placing ultimate trust in God. By recognizing the fleeting nature of these blessings, we're reminded to anchor our hope in God's eternal promises, cultivating gratitude for temporal blessings while relying steadfastly on God's unchanging faithfulness. Two, divine interruptions. Sudden changes and disruptions challenge us to see interruptions not as inconveniences, but as opportunities for growth, redirection, and learning opportunities. By remaining open to God's leading, we embrace God's purposes, even in unexpected circumstances, trusting that God orchestrates all things for our good and God's glory. And three, learning from disappointment. The withering plant prompts us to glean meaningful lessons from disappointments and loss. It calls us to shift our perspective from focusing solely on circumstances to seeking God's purposes amid disappointment. Through intentional reflection, we deepen our trust in God's faithfulness, recognizing God's work even in the midst of life's disappointments. Beloved, consider today's thought for the day. How can you navigate the transient nature of earthly blessings, recognizing unexpected changes as potential divine interventions, and allow disappointment to deepen your faith and reliance on God's eternal provision and wisdom? Beloved, let us go to the Lord in prayer. Dear God, thank you for your provision in our lives, even when it is temporary. Help us to trust in your sovereignty and to embrace your plan, knowing that you work all things together for our good. Give us the grace to surrender our desires and expectations to you, trusting that your ways are always higher and better than ours. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Beloved, I love you. Thank you for taking a moment to share with me in today's devotional. Always know and always remember that you are loved. Peace and blessings.